Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to execute multiple child packages from parent package. So this is my profile. I have 13 plus years of experience on Microsoft technologies. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how to execute multiple child packages from parent package and disable the one that got succeeded. So as soon as one package got completed then that package should be disabled. So let's jump to the demo. Right now I have this blank SSIS package and I have one package package.dtsx and maybe let me rename it to parent package yes to all and now let me just create some child packages so maybe I can call the first child package as child1.dtsx yes to all and then let me just drag and drop and execute SQL task. It will be just empty. Uh, I just want to add so that you can just see that there is something in the package. Print one. Okay, I can call it. And let me just configure it. I can just point to any SQL Server instance, and that should be enough. I really don't want to add any code here. Then it will take a lot of time. So I just want to call the very basic packages. You can call any package from it. That should be fine. So this is one package and let me just make a copy of this package and I will call it as child2 okay and now let me paste the third package as well all right so I added one parent package and then three child packages and let me just sort the packages by name so this is child1 child2 child3 and this is parent package now from the parent package I want to call all the child packages one by one and in case if a package got failed suppose if child 2 package got failed then if I restart the package then it should not run the child 1 package again it should start from the child 2 itself okay. So I want to somehow disable the succeeded packages. So to achieve this particular thing what we are gonna do we are going to create two tables. So the first table will be config SSIS package table. So this particular table will contain the package name on their execution order and the active flag. So the package name will be the name of the package of course and the order will be the order in which you want to call the package. Suppose if you want to call a package first then you can put lower order number like 10 and then if you want to execute a package later then you can put like maybe 20 and so on and the active flag will be the bit if the flag is 1 then it means that the package will be executed and if the flag is 0 then it means that the package won't be executed so we will be using tbl underscore log table to just keep the auditing of the overall process so after looking at this particular table we can easily find out when a particular package got executed and like in which order so there are few columns package names so this package name will tell us the package that got executed and the step so step will be like package started and then its time started time and then it will be having another entry like package completed and then the package completed time so before the execution of a package an entry will be made into the tbl log and then a package will be called and then after the successful execution of the package another entry will be made into this particular table tbl underscore log which will be like package completed so for each successful execution of an SSIS package there will be two entries into this particular table package started and package completed so let's see how we can achieve this using the SSIS so first of all we need to insert the package details into this table config SSIS package table like package name their order and the active flag so let me just write an insert statement insert into config SSIS and I will share this script with you. You can download it from the Google Drive. I will share the link in the description of this particular video. And I will also share this insert statement as well. So let me just write the child package details into this table, config SSIS package table. So there are three packages, child1, child2, child3. So we need to insert the details of those packages. You can write like select package name is child1.dt sx and then uh, order so order I will put 10 for the first package and active flag will be 1 so I have given the order as 10 because suppose tomorrow if you add more packages to your solution and if you want to execute that new package before this package so 
you can add another entry in, into this table and the order you can give maybe nine so the nine number package will be executed first and then this package will be executed later so, and then i can put another entry for the another package union all child one dot dtsx then child two dot dtsx and the order will be 20 so if you want to suppose tomorrow add more packages in between these two packages then you can add more packages there and then child 3 so the execution order will be 30 and its name is child 3 dot dtsx i can insert these three records into this config ssis package table and suppose if you want to find out what are the packages those, those needs to be executed so you can use this query select package name from config ssis package table where active flag is equal to one and order by package so packages will be executed in this orders first child one dot dtsx package will be executed then child two and then child three okay so i can use this query you know to get the details of the packages to be executed now let me go back to the ssis package and first of all i need to define two variables the first variable will be object variable which can hold the name of different packages so i will call it like obj package and then the data type will be object and another variable i will declare is package name and then the data type will be a string and the name can be like child one dot dtsx okay so these two variables i have declared now let me just drag and drop the execute sql task into the control flow window and i will call it like get packages to be executed okay and then let me just make a connection to the ssis database on my sql server 2019 instance so this is the connection click ok and now i can use this particular query just to pull the packages to be executed so i can just copy this query and i can paste it here in the result set i will select the full result set because there are multiple rows that are going to be returned and click on add result set name will be zero and the variable name is object package so that's good click ok now we will be using the for each loop container ADO enumerator because we are going to loop through all different packages so let's connect the execute sql task with the for each loop container and then configure the for each loop container so here in the collection we will be using the for each ADO enumerator and in the ADO object source variable we will be using the object obj package variable and in the variable mapping we will be using the package name so package name exercise variable value will change for each iteration of the for each loop container click ok now in the for each loop container the first thing we will be doing is we will be inserting a record into the log table that the package got started so we can call it like package started we can call it and then we can just give the connection here and then we want to just write an entry into the tbl log so i can write insert into table and select package name so here we will put pack package name a step will be package started and then the dated will be the current date time get date so here the package name will be dynamic so we need to use the package name ssis variable here so let me just copy this one and write the query in the expression because we are going to use the ssis variable here so in the expression first of all we need to write a double quote and then end the double quote as well and now i pasted the query here that i copied and instead of the package name hard coded thing we need to put double quote plus plus double quote and here we need to use the package name that we declared evaluate expression so this seems good so now this will write an entry into the tbl log sql server table for each iteration of the for each loop container click ok 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 and now we want to call the child ssis packages so we will be using the execute package task so just drag and drop the execute package task into the for each loop container and then connect the execute sql task with the execute package task and then configure the execute package task here and in the package we need to select package name from project reference it will you know show you all the different packages like child 1 child 2 child 3 you know but here instead of selecting the packages directly from here we need to select the packages from the expressions because if i select the package here so it will be hard coded child 1 but i want to pass the package name dynamically from the 
package name SSIS variable. So I will go to the expressions and in the expressions in the properties there is package name. So I will select the package name property and then the value will be assigned from the package name SSIS variable because the package name variable value will change for each iteration of the for each loop container. Click OK, OK, OK. So this is done. Now we put an entry for the starting of the package but suppose if the package got failed then we will never know if the package was completed successfully. So to do that we will copy this task and we will and then we will rename it to package completed and then we will put it inside the for each loop container. So and then connect the execute package task with the execute SQL task and double click the execute SQL task and in the expressions change the value package started to package completed. So this task will be called after the successful execution of the SSIS package. Okay. So we are done with most of the things now. There is one thing that when RSSIS package is running and as soon as it has completed running an SSIS package. so we should disable that particular package in the config SSIS package table. So what we need to do update table and then set the active flag to zero for that particular package where package name equal to for example child one or something whatever. So you can just cut this thing and in the package completed thing in the expressions if you go here. So you can put a go statement in between and then after the go you can write this update statement. So this will disable that package because suppose if you are running multiple packages, if you have 10 packages and the uh, fifth package got failed. So if you restart, so it should not start the package from package one, but it should start from the package five. So, so this can only be done if you are disabling the packages, those are getting executed successfully. So just put a double quote plus plus double quote and then you can just drag and drop the package name here. Evaluate expression this seems good click ok ok so this is fine. Now there is one more thing that as soon as you, you have executed all the SSIS packages so all the packages will be set to zero. So if you will rerun the packages next time so nothing will run because you have disabled all the packages. So what we want is that after the successful execution of the for each loop container we want to enable all the packages again. So let me just go back to the SQL server and do a control Z. So we want to enable all the packages after the successful execution. So just put this particular query update config SSIS package set active flag to one and then just drag and drop an execute SQL task and then connect the for each loop container with execute SQL task and you can call it like enable all packages and then you can just configure it select the connection and in the SQL statement you can put this query click OK OK. So we have created this package successfully. Now let me just put a breakpoint here. Select edit breakpoints and put the breakpoint on the on post execute event. Click OK so that I can show you like how the package is behaving when you are running it. So right now if you see the entries let me, I will share this insert statement as well with you and I will even share this particular expressions values as well. So maybe if you want to use it then you can use it. Click OK. Right now the data in the TBL log there is nothing in this particular table and the packages to execute right now are three packages child one child two child three okay. So now let me execute the parent package and let's see what it will behave after the successful execution of first package. So it seems like child one package got completed successfully and if you see the entry in the SQL server table TBL log so there should be two records. So the first record is like child one package started and started time and then another entry like for child one package completed and the completed time. And now if you will rerun this query so there should be just two records here child two and child three because child one ran successfully so it got disabled okay. So there are just two records for two more packages to be executed. Now let me just if you see for child two there is nothing here but child one got executed successfully. Now let me just continue running the package. So it seems like the child 2 got completed as well and if you if I see the uh, entries in the TBL log table so there should be two more entries child 2 package started and then child 2 package completed and now this particular query should return just one record be because now child 1 and child 2 both got executed successfully so they have been disabled. 
and now only child 3 is enabled right now so you can see there is just one record here and now and if I continue this SSS package so the package should be completed and there should not be any record more packages to run so if I for example just return this query so there should not be any record returned from here and if I check the TBL log so there should be six entries two for child one and then two for child two and then two for child three so it means that all three packages got executed successfully and we have the package start time and then the package complete time as well and if I continue running this package so the package will be completed and it will enable all the packages again so suppose tomorrow if you will rerun the packages so it will run all three packages so now if I will rerun this query so it will return three records so it means that three packages are ready to be executed again so using this method you can just run the packages dynamically and you can configure multiple child packages to be called from your parent SSIS package thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video thank you so much